for some 2022 candidates, their concerns over the 2020 election's integrity never ended and became part of their campaign this cycle. And Marie has more about some of who these individuals are. Yeah, these numbers are really something. So out of 592 Republican candidates running for office this time around, 306 of them have raised doubts about the validity and the integrity of the 2020 election. So what does that mean? It means just over 50 percent of all GOP candidates expressed doubts about the results of the 2020 election. And it's not just, you know, certain subsection of states. Every state except for North Dakota and Rhode Island has a candidate running for Congress or statewide office who questioned the 2020 election. So it's important to note that, you know, there's a spectrum when it comes to this. Some candidates question the results and there are others who say, you know, the whole thing was stolen. So just give you an example, right? In Tennessee, Governor Bill Lee. Oh, wait, we didn't get let's get Governor Bill Lee up. There we go. Governor Bill Lee, he's on one end of the spectrum. He's running for a re-election. He did not say that President Biden had won the election until after the inauguration. Before then, he waited for the various challenges, you know, the results to go make their way through the court system. On the other end of that spectrum, though, we have uh, the Michigan gubernatorial candidate, Tudor Dixon. She has repeatedly said that voter fraud was committed during the election, and she also said that she believed that former President Trump won, not President Biden. So the individuals who expressed skepticism about the 2020 election might soon be able to influence how future elections are actually conducted. More than half of these candidates are likely or expected to win their races, according to Cook Political Report. And, you know, we're not just talking about people who are trying to get into Congress. We're talking about secretaries of state, uh, maybe attorney generals. So these are the sort of people that help to shape how elections are run in states. Uh, This also matters because many of these candidates have had to toe the line between calling the 2020 election stolen and explaining why this time around things will be different on election night. Vlad. So, you know, it's interesting. There have been in years past people who have questioned the integrity of elections in this country. You know, of course, we all remember back in 2000, Mm -hmm. uh, Bush v. Gore, um, Hillary Clinton at at various times has pointed to what she thinks uh, about the integrity of elections. And they're generally talking, at least in Clinton's terms, uh, around gerrymandering and voter suppression. Right. But we haven't ever seen what we saw on January 6th, which is people who don't believe in the legitimacy of election using violence to advance their intentions. Great point. So we'll see where how it all plays out. Really informative, Anne-Marie. Thank you very much. You're welcome.